hello everyone we are again here to discuss the running topic that is projection of solids so in the previous video i already discussed with you this first case in which axis of the solid is perpendicular to one of the reference plane and parallel to other okay so we had discussed with this case today i'm going to discuss with you the second case in which the axis of the solid is parallel to both the principal planes okay so let's see first of all we see the question so this is my question according to this question i'll make imagination over here okay so first we got the question then we, we understand what is it so the question is a hexagonal prism with side of base 25 mm okay so side of the base means the side of the base this is your base and the side is 25 mm and axis 60 mm long means the if the axis length is given means the height of the solid is 60 mm okay is lying on one of its rectangular faces on hp draw the projections of the prism when the its axis is parallel to both the horizontal plane and vertical plane so you can see here this is the imagination of this hexagonal prism my hexagon prism rest on this rectangular face you can see very carefully that a g l f this rectangular face it rests on that and the second constraint is very important in which the axis is this is your axis line the axis line of the solid should be parallel to your both the principal planes means horizontal plane and vertical plane so you can see here that this is now this axis or this line is very much parallel to VP and very much parallel to HP as well. Okay, so now to start this question, you know that how to start the projection of solid where from which view you will see the true shape of the solid from that view you are going to make the projection of particular solid. But you can see here that neither from front view and not from top view you can see the true shape which is hexagon in hexagonal prism so in this type of cases in which axis of solid is parallel to both the horizontal plane and vertical plane you have to start with the help of side view you can see it very clearly from the side view only i can see this true shape which is hexagon in you also know that to make the side view i need a profile plane and if you so if uh, observer is here and observer moves towards its own left and come over here and see this face this hexagon that projection goes on the profile plane so you know that profile plane is used to make the side views of the objects okay so whenever the observer comes towards its own left it means it becomes your left side view this is becomes your left side view in this way you can start with your question so let's start the question first draw your line which is xy line this is your xy line and then make a line again here okay you can start from anywhere so this is your profile plane line you know that in the previous questions we have done with these type of questions okay so this is your profile plane line over here i'm going to make a left side view you can see in this view this imagination I'll make already something similar to your this question. I'll make a side view here. This is a left side view because you know that whenever the projection goes on the profile plane, the profile plane rotates like this way and your profile plane opens like this. Your profile plane open like this. So you can see clearly this view from your front side. Okay. So you have to make a hexagon over here. Okay. Start with the polygon command. You know that how to start to make any hexagon pentagon you start with polygon command so start this this is a polygon command okay in the command line bar it is asked number of sides so hexagon is six sides so enter six and you know the edge is given edge is 25 so i'll take the edge and come over here and start with this one okay so now give the side of base which is 25 in this case so i'll 25 so this is becomes your left side view so you can see here this is left side view this is the left side view after having projection on the profile plane profile plane opens like this like this over here 
so now i'm going to make the top view with the help of this side view how to make that top view take a line put over here and make your projection to where your x y line come over here again take a line take this one and come over here i do not take any projection from this point and this point because it these points overlap with this these points so i know that whenever i take a projection from this line it overlaps with this point so i do i do not want to take this line over here but you have to take the center line here so you have to take a line this is your center okay so this is your center as if you open your o snap then it show you center over here this is geometric center okay but if you want to find out the center of the hexagon you can draw it like this way take your line meet suppose it diagonals over here like this again take a line and pass this so wherever these two diagonals intersect that point becomes your center okay so you can make like this if you want to find out the center of the hexagon so this is downwards like this okay so i'll take all projections coming down so now i'm going to take these projections towards my top view like this so if you have a compass using compass so you can put your steel part of the compass on this intersection and open your compass like this and make an arc over here and again mark an arc over here like you can see here i will put already put these arcs over here so instead of compass i am using circle so i'll take this and drop over here again take a circle 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 and drop over here okay so now i'm going to trim all the other things so i know that i know this one and this one I'll make all these trim. So this way. So this way you can trim all the other uh, part of the circle because I don't need that things. Now very simple. Now take a line again. So put these line towards like this. Make an any length line and stop. again take a line and make a line over here again take a line and mark a line over here again take a line and mark a line over here again take a line and mark a line over here okay so in this way you can take a projections from your side view towards your top view now i know that from the front from the front view and top view i can easily see the 60 mm axis length from the front view as well as from the top view i can see the this length whatever the length of the solid is and length of solid is whatever the length of the axis is so uh, axis length is given which is 60 mm so i take a line and mark a line over here from any distance you can take any distance from your this line so this distance may be any this can be any distance okay there is no given distance of this one this distance and this distance should be should be 60 mm remember this so you can make in this way i'll make like this i trim the other things and again make a lines over here okay i'll make this way so i'll take a line and know that this is 60 mm as per the length of the solid again take a line and this is 60 mm again take a line this is 60 mm again take a line this is 60 mm again take a line this is 60 mm okay in this way i'll make this line so i'll take a line again put over here and this one so this becomes your top view this is top view of this particular prism okay so you can also see that whenever you see from the top you will be visible to four edges one 2 3 and 4 so first second third and fourth this line basically your center line so you have to make this as a center line so you will convert this like this okay even the these all lines up to this one all your axis lines so you have to make like this 
okay so you can see here this is your center line when passing through from your center so basically these are our edges so you can make it dark as well so i'll make this dark so it is very helpful to understand so i'll make these dark okay so this is basically your actual prism from the top view now with the help of that i'm going to make my front view i'll take a projection from this one again take from this one okay then i'll take a projection outside from your side view like this again take a projection from this one okay now you can see very clearly that when you see from the front side you will the only three sides or three edges are visible to you this edge that is b h a g and c i these are visible to you okay so i'll first of all trim the other parts so i like this one this one and i don't want these one okay so i also don't want these don't these delete it now i take a line this one up to this one again take a line up to this one so you can see very carefully that these are the visible edges to you so you have to make this differently so you have to make these line thick okay so these are very much visible to you and this is also visible to you so this one and this one must be dark as per convention of lines so you can see here that this is also dark so like this now this is a completion of my projection of prism okay so i am rest with only with dimensions and nomenclature so i'll make go i am going to make a nomenclature here first so i'll take a nomenclature this one okay this is a dash dash remember it in the side view you have to make your nomenclature in this way okay so this is as per conventions of drawings because in the profile you have to differentiate with the front view nomenclature with the side view nomenclatures you have to put like this so you know that from the this side when you see this one this face is first visible to you a b c d e f and this g h i j k l this is not visible to you although there is a opposite face of this a b c d e so you know that as per convention of the nomenclature of projection of solids we have to make nomenclature accordingly so whatever the nomenclature of this i'll make like this i'll copy it first of all i make like this and this one as well okay so i'll delete it now know that this point is this is a dash dash this is b dash dash so i take this b dash dash this is c dash dash okay in the same way this is d dash dash in the same way this is e dash dash and this is f dash dash okay so and in between the nomenclature is that face which is opposite to my visible face so this is not a visible face to me but there is a face to my opposite to my visible face so you have to make a nomenclature like this so okay so this is you know that this is g this is g dash dash and this is h and this is i and this is j and this is k and this is l okay so in this way you are going to make a nomenclature of this one so in with the help of this nomenclature i'm going to make a nomenclature of this one so you know that when this this is your top view this is your top view and from the top view this face is a b c d e so this face is a b c d e f and this is g h i j k l okay so i'll make nomenclature in this way so i start with a so this is a projection going on so this point should be a okay so i'll make like this i'll copy it okay i'll copy it this one and put over here then select it and i know that this is only a so i'll delete that two dashes so this is a in the same way this is b and the same way this is coming on this is 
so this is a this is b in the same way this is c also c is here because c overlaps with your this one so whenever you see from the top the c should be written first over here c a okay so it should be like this here okay so now i'm going to make a nomenclature of all the things okay so this is a way to make the nomenclature of this one so in the same way i'll make a nomenclature of this one so again you know that this one is copy and put over here and same way i copy put over here so this is the way to make the nomenclature of this top view now with the help of this i'm going to make a nomenclature of your front view okay so again i'll take a copy and this one so you know that this is d d point and this is c okay so i'm rest so this is a way to give the nomenclature of your prism so very important to see these things very importantly make your nomenclature accordingly which is visible to you first make it first and which is opposite to your visible faces that should be right afterwards your visible faces or visible nomenclature so i'm rest with only the dimensions now so i'll make a dimension linear so i know that first of all side of the base this one and this one this is 25 and the axis so linear this one this one 60 so this way my question has been complete so most important to thing to note over here is whenever the axis of the solid is parallel to both your horizontal and vertical plane you have to start from the side view because ni neither from the front view and not from the top view you can see the true shape of your prism so in this case which is hexagon so hexagon is visible from the side view only so you have to start with the side view okay i hope you understand this question very important question from the examination point of view okay thank you very much